I've recently just got my hands on one of these cameras. This is Insta360's Go 3 camera. In this video, I wanna give you my first thoughts on it and a bit of a mini review. So I've had this camera now for about a week or so and I've been playing around with it, shooting with it, testing out all the different modes. Honestly, I'm fairly impressed with it. I previously had the Go 2 camera, which was the first generation micro camera from Insta360. It's very similar to the Go 3 in terms of the size of it. The action pod has been upgraded dramatically, but the actual camera itself is the same size. It's pretty much the same size. It's got The Go 3 has a slightly bigger footprint, but it's literally very minimal difference. It still looks very much the same design. Slightly bigger design, slightly bigger battery, more battery life, more internal storage. So it is definitely a step in the right direction in terms of performance. We'll dig into that in just a second. One of the main upgrades though on this camera is this action pod. The camera actually magnetically snaps into the action pod and it also has a flip up display, which is amazing if you want to do vlogging or any type of like recording yourself or just wanting to know that your camera is in the right place. It's a high resolution touchscreen as well. So it's really responsive. It's easy to navigate around all the menus and the settings and to check out what footage that you've already shot on the camera. So it's definitely in a step in the right direction compared to what we had on the Go 2, which there wasn't really anything in the way of a touch screen. There was just literally a little LED screen with two buttons. So there wasn't really anything. You had to basically control this camera through your phone. Whereas the Go 3, I feel you can control a lot of it through the actual camera, as well as being able to record and edit everything on your phone as well. So the weight of this camera, it's a little bit heavier than the Go 2, as you'd expect, because it's like a, an actual action camera. It's more the size of, say, a GoPro or Insta 360's One RS camera. It's still fairly lightweight, though. The actual footprint of the camera is still fairly decent. You could still fit that in your pocket or in a gear bag and it wouldn't take up much space at all for how flexible the camera is. If we look at the performance specs, it can shoot at 2.7K, it can do slow motion, it can do time lapses, time warp, it's got horizon lock. It's got all the things that you would want from an action camera this small. Granted, it, it can't shoot in some of the high quality like 4K or 5.7K like some of the higher end Insta360 cameras can, but then you start to question like, well, does it really need to? Does it need to shoot at that high resolution? For me, I feel this camera is just super versatile and anybody can pick it up and use it. It's literally just as simple as clicking a button to record, clicking a button to stop, choosing what settings and mode you want, and away you go. You can shoot some really, really cool footage on this tiny little camera. And what Insta360 have done, which I also think is super clever, is they give you a range of accessories with the camera when you first buy it. First thing I really do like is the magnetic necklace. This is a way better design than last year's because they've actually managed to design the cable so it runs and folds away inside the actual unit itself, inside the pendant. So you don't, when you're not using it, it's not just being stored like this. You can actually, look at that, a lot tidier. Once it's on, you know, we can shoot, we can actually walk around with the Go 3 on a pendant and get some really cool point of view videos. Look how small this camera is as well. The good thing about this is if you're doing vlogging or anything in public, sometimes you don't want a massive camera that draws a lot of attention to you, which is why these cameras are so cool. That's really, really small. And speaking of small and accessories, they also include this hat clip as well, or I like to use it as a helmet clip as well. So you can actually clip the camera to a hat or helmet or headpiece. I think you can get some super cool footage with that. I've been playing around with it quite a bit. Really versatile. You can't really do that with any other action camera on the market or big camera. Not only that though, I've actually been clipping this to the helmet on my mountain bike and I'm able to get some really, really cool point of view shots of my mountain biking, which makes this camera even more accessible to people wanting to do outdoor sports, extreme sports, but they don't want to carry around massive gear bags or massive heavy cameras. You just literally carry this around. And you could get away with just taking this out with you and not the action pod. But the action pod is pretty cool as well because now this actually charges the camera as well. So not only can you use it as a camera with an actual screen on the back, you can actually make sure your Go 3 is always charged. Let's take a look at some of the other accessories that you get in the box. You get this magnetic mount that goes underneath the camera, hooks onto the actual action pod using magnets. And what this enables you to do is use it like a traditional GoPro camera. So that these prongs come out and you can now clip that bottom part to mount with a screw on it 
So again, it becomes even more versatile. Or one thing I really do love about this, it's got a thread in the bottom as well. You can thread an Insta360 selfie stick onto. So now we have a camera on a selfie stick. They really have thought of everything. This is really cool. So if you, you are someone who wants to do vlogging, that is the perfect travel vlog kit. I mean, look at that. That's all you need to shoot incredible travel videos. Similar to that as well, this comes in the box, which is kind of the same stand, magnetic attachment. It's got a sticky mount on the bottom, which you can clean and reuse. So you could stick that to all sorts of things. I had it stuck to the inside of my van earlier while I was driving, getting some cool time lapses of the countryside where I live. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. Like Insta360 accessories are actually incredible. There's so many of them to choose from and it just makes getting creative with your shooting so much better, so much easier as well. If we move on to editing, transferring footage from the camera to your phone or your desktop is super simple to do. You can even use a cable directly into the camera to the computer or use Wi-Fi connection or Bluetooth to your phone and you can edit on the go, share to social media, save to your phone, whatever you want to do with it. It's really simple to do. Insta 360 have gone above and beyond in that department. So who is this camera ideally for? To be honest with you, it is super versatile. And I would recommend this to anybody who is either just getting into the world of action cameras and just wants a simple press and go solution to get in capturing their sports and adventures. Real simple. And straight out of the box you get tons of accessories in the box as well. And it's also great for people who want just to have another accessory in their filmmaking gear bag, but they don't want a camera that takes up tons of space. You're not gonna use this all the time as a professional filmmaker, I wouldn't have thought, but it's there if you need it. And it's actual footprint is tiny. So it's not taking up any extra space in your gear bag like a massive DSLR camera would. This camera is pretty mind blowing. I'm actually like really blown away with it. And I'm gonna be using it over the next few weeks and I will do a longer term review on this camera. Those are my first impressions, my first thoughts. Hopefully that helps you if you're thinking of getting one of these cameras. In the description below, I will also include a link to go and check out this camera. And if you wanna get access to all of my favorite settings, there's a one page cheat sheet where you just plug in the settings depending on where and what you're shooting and you will have a perfect sense of what you're doing. Hope the video was useful. I'm going to go and play with this camera more and we'll see you in the next video.